Queen Anne's County Public Schools teachers. This is Dr. Kane with a quick message to remind you to complete your Teacher of the Year nomination forms. We are so excited to bring in the new school year with a new Teacher of the Year. Ms. Amber Wright has been so wonderful and so gracious as the current Teacher of the Year, and she's excited as well to usher in a new Teacher of the Year. So if you received a nomination form, first of all, congratulations. And secondly, don't forget to complete it. We are so excited to welcome you. You have exemplified an exceptional teacher. You are a leader in your school, a leader in our school district with so much respect from your colleagues and your administrators. We are cheering you on. So please remember to complete that nomination form. We're looking forward to receiving it. Greetings, fellow colleagues. My name is Amber Wright and I am the current Teacher of the Year. As you know, this year has been anything but normal, and being Teacher of the Year has not been an exception. During normal times, there would have been a big gala with lots of food and great conversation and extraordinary views of the Chesapeake Bay. Though I didn't get a big party, I got a huge surprise at my home with bunches of balloons a beautiful bouquet of brightly colored flowers, a parade of cars filled with family members, friends, my administrators, and some staff members from my school, the assistant superintendent, and the superintendent, who shared some of the most kind words a person could ever hear. Also in the crowd were two wonderful people who later became my lifeline for the next three months or so. Betsy Andrews and Jeff Strait held my hand through the entire process. I often affectionately refer to them as my handlers. So when you become Teacher of the Year, just know you are not alone. Right away, Jeff and Betsy got me started on my book for Maryland Teacher of the Year. Typically, there would have been another big gala where the outgoing Maryland Teacher of the Year, the State Superintendent, and the Governor, along with the coordinators of the event, would speak. This year, of course, everything was virtual, but still very elegant and quaint. Soon after the State Gala, all of us, the Teachers of the Year from other counties, met each other during a virtual professional development meeting. There have been several meetings since then. We have worked with Northrop Grumman in their space, depart air space department, and we have created different STEM projects, one of them being a Rube Goldberg machine. Here is mine. It goes fast, so don't blink. In the future, we will work with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and the Teachers of Promise program. Dr. Salmon sometimes sits in on some of our PDs when she has time. At every level, everyone has tried so hard to make this year resemble the normalcy of my predecessors, and I have appreciated their efforts. There has been, however, one aspect that seems to have remained the same, the gifts and recognition. When you become Teacher of the Year, you will receive so many gifts, so many exciting gifts. There are gifts from local businesses, gift cards, gifts from the Board of Education, gifts from the County Commissioners, interviews with QACTV, the Shore Update, as well as articles of recognition in the local papers. You will also receive emails, notes, and cards filled with congratulations and well wishes. One of the biggest gifts is being awarded the Queen Anne's County Teacher of the Year car. This was one fun gift. This gift will get you unsolicited waves and honks of horns and multiple thumbs up You'll get head nods and 
most of all, beautiful smiles from just pure strangers. If you're asking yourself, why should I even do this? Why should I take the time to complete the paperwork? My question to you would be, why shouldn't you? Why wouldn't you take the time to complete the paper? Clearly, there is someone who thought you were worth the time to complete the paperwork to get you nominated. The least you could do is to show your thanks and complete the question. The questions seem intimidating at first, but if you just sit down and reflect, you will find that you will be able to answer those questions with ease. Listen, you owe it to yourself to just give it a go. Don't sell yourself short. You are here because someone thinks you deserve this recognition, and I believe you do too. So take a deep breath, get focused, and complete the application. There are so many people who are willing to help you, and I am one of them. I leave you with this. If you do nothing, then you get nothing. But if you do something, then you will gain more than you ever expected.